Hey, Mathite. All right, so on this next Khan Academy, it's got a really long name. Use areas of squares to visualize Pythagorean Theorem. Sounds all complicated. It's not very complicated. They do, however, give you three different ways of solving the problems. First way is very simple. Let's go through it here. We want to know um, what two small sides would equal the large side of 36 square units. You might remember it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the large side here is our c squared. So we need to know which of these two equal 36. Well, 6 plus 36, or 6 plus 30 is 36, so that one works. 8 plus 28, that's 36, so that one works. 4 plus 16, that's 20, so that one does not work. Okay, so some of them are that easy. Next one, quite simple as well, but a little more detail to it. Here's our small side of 3, our medium side of 7. We do not know this long side, and we need to find the area of that. Okay, so we just simply take our a squared, 3 squared, and we're going to square that 3 squared, which is 9. We're going to take our medium side, 7 squared, which is 49. We add the 9 and the 49 to get 58, which means the area of this square right there is 58. It's that simple. Last type. You're going to give this one. They'll give you the area of the small square, the area of the other small square. We know a squared plus b squared, so we're going to add these two together to get our c squared side, which is 64. 64 would be the area of that square right there, but they're not asking for the area of that square. They're asking for the length of this line right there, so we do have to take square root of that which is simply eight, but it's pretty simple. That's all there is to it, guys. Good luck. Bye-bye.